Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I just showed you guys that uh, Falcon tire that I had purchased uh, about uh, January or so. So I wanted to talk about it. I had a viewer ask me a question. I'm really sorry to re make this video so uh, late. But anyways, uh, this tire, um, it's got good and bad uh, things going on here. Um, I'm going to go with the good. First off, the traction in the winter, it's really good. Uh, I drove through a snow, um, a heavy snow day, ice all over the road, uh, snow all over the road, and um, I felt secure. That was the main thing. Uh, the bad things, well, let's keep going on with the good things. So, good thing is, another good thing is this tire noise. So the original tire that comes with the car is a Dunlop. Um, I can't remember what the model was, but the uh, Dunlop tire, it had a lot of noise going over certain pavements of the road. Um, and uh, so this tire, it still makes noise. I mean, it's not 100% quiet, but the amount of noise is substantially uh, lower. Um, when I have the windows up, I don't hear anything. Whereas before, I could hear the tires just like almost whistling when it's on that concrete type pavement uh, road. Um, uh, another good thing is gas mileage um, has been more or less... Uh, it's about the same, I would guess, from the Dunlop. So it hasn't changed that much. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with. Uh, so you guys know firsthand. Um, hopefully it shows it though. So um, I would say that the average gas mileage is about 33.8 for me. Um, lately I've been getting a little bit better gas mileage because there's been less cars on the road. Um, I'm not sure why it's not showing you the gas mileage. Uh, let's just start it up. Uh, or actually it should be showing it here. But anyways, uh, let me see if I can get it going. Uh, I guess I can start it real quick. So you guys can see that. Uh, so 34.5, um, that's the gas mileage there. So, but like I said, I've been driving a little bit uh, better this week. So... Uh, where there has been less traffic, so that's why I've been getting a little bit better gas mileage. But it's more or less about 33.8, and I, I guess it's capable of going up to about 35 or so. It depends on how you drive, where you drive, all these kind of things that come into factor. Um, so that's another good thing. Now, um, also for the rain too, the tire is very good. Um, I don't feel like I'm losing control. Whereas with the Dunlop, um, when I hit a puddle, I felt almost as though like I was like losing traction and almost hydroplaning. Even though I'm not going very fast, uh, maybe about 40 some, 50 some miles an hour uh, on the highway and then hitting a puddle, I felt a little bit nervous. Whereas with these tires, I don't feel that anymore. Um, so for the bad though, the bad, one thing I really don't like about this tire is that when I'm driving uh, and I'm making a turn so this thing I realized that almost immediately was that so taking a turn at about 20 30 miles an hour uh, making a like a more of a sharper left or right turn doesn't really matter this tire really has some heavy understeer so with the Dunlop tire um, I felt I mean there's some understeer all front wheel drives have some understeer but it's not as noticeable. So with these tires, it is extremely noticeable. So if you're thinking about taking this car on for a high-speed drive and making some left and right turns that are a little bit sharper, I would not recommend this tire because it's really going to pull. You can feel that pull going to the whatever opposite direction that you're making your turn in. So um, that's one thing to be aware of. Um, and I guess it's heavy. That's why it's doing it. That's why the uh, the tire uh, will pull in that that fashion. I haven't had any kind of damage. 
uh, I, like I said, almost immediately after taking the car uh, from the the shop. So um, as again, as a reminder, I did get this from Sam's Club. And for Sam's Club itself, um, it was a bit of a disappointment too. But I mean, the price is so cheap. So that's what I paid. That's when I paid it. That's when I had the tire. So I'm approximately driving this tire for about five months now. And Sam's Club got their issues because I bought it during the sale and I did not know that you had to pay your tire during the sale uh, to get that price. They do not honor the price when um, you purchase it online and even though the price is there listed and whenever you sh even if you show them the price that you were supposed to get it at, uh, they do not give it to you at that price. So um, you just got to go down and pay for it. That's one thing that uh, the issue there. The other issue that I had was they did not change my valve stems. Uh, this car comes with rubber valve stems and the idea that you're not going to change rubber valve stems at a tire change period I was pretty upset I didn't go back to tell him anything but I was pretty upset over that because I felt like you know I mean rubber valve stems they're gonna crack eventually with the lifetime of this tire and I'm gonna be somewhere with a flat um, but um, hopefully in the future I will get these valve stems changed sometimes I really wish I had my own tire changer then I could just do it myself but other than that, I mean, that's the only real big issue is that the uh, understeer is heavy. Um, but straightaway stability, everything is good. Um, I recommend the tire for a daily driver, not going on a track, not trying to drive crazy on the road. Uh, these tires are really good. They are rated with a Traction A, I believe. Um, I don't really believe that grade because like I said with the understeer it's a little bit odd to be giving an A score for that so but they're definitely better than the Dunlop and I would recommend anybody who is tired of those Dunlops to get um, or well it would probably be better to get any tire <laughs> it wasn't that very uh, the Dunlops really were pretty bad for my usage here so um that's pretty much all i have uh like share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thanks